And in this video, I'm going to open Prussian Church from Terrains for Games. This is a 28 millimeter scale church. This is a laser cut scenery piece. Let's see what do we get when I open this package. As you can see, there's a couple of wider sheets inside. These uh, white sheets, you get 11 of them. They will create the basic frame of the building. Take care because uh, there's laser etching on one side on some of the pieces, like in this one and the floor bases you get one large base that you attach the sides this one and this is this is also laser edged there's laser etching on several pieces and some of them show tiling some of them show the bricks that can be seen through if you uh, just paint them over, you can get rid of them. But uh, these little details really make it look better. And Russian, of course. So you get 11 of these wide pieces. And five detailing frames that will add typical German framing to the building uh, and these are somewhat thinner uh, I'd say one millimeters maybe um, this will make them look better in 3D it, it really gives a uh, better, more, more dynamic look to the piece. I'm going to paint them before assembly because it will be easier for me to do the frames on the, the frame itself. And let's see how we will do it. And now let's see how easy it is to assemble the Prussian church. Um, there are no instructions for this yet, so I'm not exactly sure how will I make it, but I try my best. frames around the pieces are somewhat thin so take care not to damage the pieces themselves I have removed the pieces from the first frame and as they won't stay together without glue I'm going to use adhesive putty put them together. These frames are easy to put together. You just need the right pieces. So these are the roof pieces and 
they are going to be removable from the building. And this little frame, I suppose, this will come under this piece. We will see how will it work out. As I suppose, this will help to make this piece that I suppose this is uh, this will be uh, the bell tower I think Is. and you can just put it here on top of the piece so this is the bell tower sure that this will be the base of the whole piece. The third frame and the fourth one look like the roofs of the church. side and the support for the roof that I'm going to glue together shortly. Where is the fix? This is the fixed one. It's practically the same. Just on the other side so the support and the short wall one side there's an overhang on the other oh because because of the bell tower probably it will take up one of the sides and there it goes
And let's continue with the main building. So we have these are uh, bricks I'm going to I'm going at the bottom of the piece the eighth the eighth and the seventh frame The tower piece comes with a door that's cut through, so if you want to open it, you can. Okay, here is the tower and let's test whether I can really put this on top of that. Well, it works fine. something like that. The final part is the entrance. This one also has a cut through door that you can open. This one is the base of the tower, so it doesn't belong to the entry point. And this is going to be the entrance. So basically, you can get a totally freestanding tower that you don't need to attach to the church itself, but I think you can. the entrance can be put here plus you can add the bell tower here This is the 
main part and of course you can add the detailings on top of the main building and to get a better perspective of this whole thing I've included some Warhammer miniatures with a removable roof you can put a couple of minis inside So, this is how a temporary assembled piece looks. <laughs>